Let's do it. We've got only the final levels of Frogger remaining. Let's see if we can finish it today. I don't know if we can. The last time, I think... The fellow who's been commenting on the YouTube video said that he'd be very surprised if we could do the rest in just one stream. The last few levels might be a big pain. I still need to uh, annually go live on YouTube. Which longer do I have? I might I need to check if I'm uh, through that yet. Again, difficulty streaming on YouTube because uh, Nexon decided to be dumb. They didn't like that I streamed a uh, Maple Story private server. All right, so last time I left off on this level, I did a couple of the sewers. And I was told that this was... I think described as the hardest level in the game. Now, we can decide that for ourselves, but... Uh, there is, apparently, something you can do over here that I did not do which is walk on this oil. And, oh, there's spikes, okay. Well, you can't see those at all before you get there. Oh. Hello, Darian. Boy, it's been uh, almost two weeks since I did a stream. I've been putting this off a little bit. Jack hasn't been up to streaming. He's still working out his uh, current medical issues. He, there's just no war- how, how do you deal with that? Maybe that's why this was described as the worst level. You just have to jump into that and get lucky. They wouldn't do that, would they? Recently started playing again. Playing this again, the game is tougher than I remember. How far have you gotten with it? I had a demo for Frogger 2. I've never actually played the game, so I do want to. I do want to play that after I finish this one, and that will be. Uh, that'll be blind. More or less. Okay, so I can kind of... I can kind of stall by moving upwards is the best I can do. If I sound different at all, it's because I am now on a Blue Yeti microphone, as opposed to the Snowball, which I usually use. I did some testing. I think it sounds a little bit cleaner. I was looking at uh, headset microphones. I wanted to get one of those for streaming, but uh, people don't talk about talk enough about the microphone quality for headsets. Like, I know Vinny uses one for streaming. <sighs> but I just couldn't get uh, good information on the stuff that I needed to know about. 
I gave up and I settled for just getting another another USB microphone. I think it sounds a little better, and I can now keep the snowball in my recording booth. Oh, it's hard to even get off of that at the end. PS1 game. Okay, we are down here now. Slip sliding around. Can I get on top? I cannot. Get up there! Oh! And I can go under those ones. Wow, that's a, that is a gauntlet. Oh, so you're still in the, the lily pad, the lily ponds. Which there's no shame in. I mentioned in the first stream, that's a huge leap in difficulty. This The first level of this game does not mess around. The first, you know, free roaming level. tell if I can get on top of that or not. I tried for one of them. And it wouldn't let me on the on the lower one. Hello Polsky. Well thank you for joining us briefly for the start of the stream at least. Good level. so much time just going through these. So I don't have to... I don't have to delay the spikes. The spikes start at the same position every time. I just need to be, have good timing getting to the right there. Well, I've said it before, I'll say it again. This game didn't need lives. Uh, update on Crash 4. I am still prodding through the, uh, through the collectibles. I have been very gradually getting all of the gems and the, uh, insane relics. I'm up to the, uh, dinosaur world at present. making enough progress on it that I'll probably just uh, finish getting all the other things before I start on the relics, but uh, I could be back to streaming it soon, doing the relic stuff. It would not have been a very entertaining stream to watch all the collectibles. It would have been a lot of looking at YouTube videos and repeating levels over and over again. is on this level, too. Although, fortunately, I don't have to do that at the same time as I get the other five frogs. I can just do that whenever, and it's it's done. What else is new? My Keurig machine broke. I don't know what exactly is wrong with it, but it's, uh, it's just spitting water everywhere. Okay, the spikes are not in the same position every time.
So I ordered a new one, and at the same time, I got some uh, chocolate-covered coffee beans at the store, which I've been wanting to try for a while. But I'm afraid to eat too much of them because they're super high in caffeine. sounds. <laughs> Rami's got stuff for the uh, Tokyo Game Show. Grimoire of Souls was the uh, mobile game, right? They, they took it down and now they're putting it up on multi-platform? Is that what's happening? Is depth perception. I can't like zoom out or anything. You know what I can do? I can rotate the camera. That'll help. It took me this long to remember that. announcements. New season of the Castlevania anime, spin-off of the Castlevania anime, and tie-in game for the Castlevania anime. I just have to put up with fart step. Okay. I am here. That's right, and I can go under them! I keep thinking I'll stop when I hit the non-spiked wooden wall. It doesn't work like that. Managed to one cycle at this time, so that's good. Watch them pull a uh, watch them pull a Pokemon thing, where they're going to reveal that the Castlevania anime takes place in its own timeline, and there's going to be a crossover where they like like meet the game timeline. And by extension, fuck up the entire game canon as well. You know, really Teen Titans go it. What? Okay, so I must have to get on top of them because I don't see any other way I could do that. Wait, I can- I can kill myself by jumping too high? Uh, 
If this is the hardest level, then hey, at least once we're through with it, we, we just, just... It's all uphill from here. So this is just gonna be the stream, isn't it? It's just gonna be this level for two hours. Doesn't help that uh, emulator is chugging slightly at times and eating inputs, so I cannot uh, dash through as often as I would like to. Okay, I can run into the non-spiky parts of the big ones as well. I guess I should have figured that. Are they just too tall to get on top of? Let me try it from here. No? Okay, I can get on top of them. That's good to know. Seems much safer up there. We're learning very, very slowly. I'm specifically doing this first because I was told this was the hardest section of the level. designed this. Someone decided this was okay. And then several testers played it and also decided that it was okay. I should reiterate, this was a very early PS1 game. Like, a lot of arcade game design. Unreasonable difficulty stuff designed to keep you putting quarters in a machine that defined the NES era of gaming and continued through the Super NES was still alive in this. Oh, why the, the slide, though? It kind of, it started to fade out during the PS1 era, and even then it took a while. Watch the next level be only slightly easier than this one. It's not exactly the same timing every time I'm learning. It's close, but... There, I, there are slight variations that keep me from doing exactly the same sequence every time. Ah! Thunder! Sorry, I get scared and I accidentally ACDC a little bit. I'm gonna go on this far side. This seems easier. Why did it turn me around? I, I hate this surprise spike at the bottom of the slope. <gasps> Why does he go over? I'm so confused. It's like, he, I think he has momentum. Like he starts sliding on the, on the oil. And then in, instead of doing a super hop for a single space, he does two. And that's what's confusing me.
Therian, have you and uh, Saucy been watching anything lately? can't even they got to retract all the way so I can't even stand on top of them safely suffering. That's what we're doing today. We're playing the hardest level in Frogger, which is already a pretty difficult game. This is another one of those defenders, uh, of offenders, I realize, of naming a later game after the entire franchise. You know, like Sonic 06, BMC, where they think it's gonna, like, signify a reboot and get everyone to forget about the old versions of the game, but it doesn't do that. It just is really inconvenient for people, and they end up giving it their own fan name, like Sonic 06. I think when it came out, people were calling that game Sonic Next Gen. It was a name for it. Oh, that's another thing that happened within the past couple weeks. My uh, PS3 has been uh, slowly dying. It's had some degree of performance issues over its life as it gets older. But uh, just recently it started uh, freezing while I was watching YouTube. And now very frequently. So, uh... I opened it up, first time I've opened up the video game console, dusted it out, and it's doing better. It stopped really freezing on YouTube a ton. However, it's still, uh, it's now gotten even glitchier when running Red Dead Redemption. I had to stop playing that because it would, uh, stop working after a point in the game. And now it's working, but it's super buggy. As opposed to the usual Rockstar games, which are flawless. Yeah, that's not true. They're not usually too bad. Skyrim is, a, is a Bethesda is the famously buggy AAA game dev. I think I'll just get another PS3. I checked with the local game shop, and they're only like, uh, depending on the model, they're only like eighty dollars for a uh, refurbished one. Amazon selling them for two hundred ten, so that's a great deal from the game shop. <sighs> I can't even get past this anymore. Over there! Why can't you hop faster? Oh, they do that all the time in, uh, in Europe for Castlevania. It's called games Castlevania. 
The only game that did that over here was the 64 one, wasn't it? They just called that Castlevania. How about I could go one barrel lower for the first cycle? I might be just getting off the newspapers too early. What? But the wood was out. Let's go a little bit further. Uh-oh! Ah, I jumped too late. I could have gotten a free frog. Not that it would have mattered, because I'm sure I'm in a game over against, uh... Wow, okay, so I can only do that in the first cycle. That's not gonna fly for other ones. How many 3D Castlevanias are there? There's Castlevania 64. There's the PS2 one that I played. Are those the only ones? Okay, let's go down to this barrel. I can do this for the first cycle, and then after that, I have to wait for, uh... I have to wait on the first barrel I see. Okay, here we go. <gasps> he did it again! He's jumping on multiple! Why is he doing that? Go down, frog! There's two PS2 ones, and then there's Judgment on the Wii. I see. On the three Lords of Shadow games. to get around to a uh, Castlevania 3D collection. They can't do worse than they did with the Mario collection. Maybe I'm doing this, maybe I'm approaching this the wrong way. Maybe going on top isn't the way to go. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna- I still have to find all the other frogs. I'm gonna waste all this time, and then I'm just gonna- I'm gonna lose all my lives before I get the other ones. And I have to do it all over again. I know that's how this is gonna go. It's- slides when he lands on the stupid oil on the ground. I just need to stop for a second. That'd be great. Okay. 
I can, I can safely hide in these alcoves. The spikes do not reach all the way to the end. Which is what I'm gonna have to do, because obviously I can't jump across the tops. watching this person on YouTube. This is what you waited for. Could be worse. I could be playing something like a dog's life on the PS2. This isn't a bad game, it's just incredibly unreasonably difficult. Okay, I think I've got the groove now. I think I know what I'm doing. shouldn't have said anything. That there 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 are faster ones at the end. They just they needed to make it harder for the last several spiked pounders. Oh, I was just doing the easy section. It's not even like there's a lot of bugs to sustain you in this level. We're not even encountering any until we get to the pounders parts. Not these pounders, the spike pounders. These are the non-spike pounders. These are these are the baby ones. see ahead of time if that thing's gonna get me. I just have to assume it will. And then sometimes he jumps ahead to a different tile than I think he's gonna jump to. Music is gonna haunt my dreams. Take the camera again once I get into the smaller crushers. It's just finding an opportunity to do it. Also, I keep trying to one cycle that because I, I need the time. You know what? Let's seek out the other frogs first. Let's make sure we know where everybody's at. We know the green one is at the bottom of the chute.
I really don't want to have to do this multiple times, so let's not. Alright, we got a red fella here. We got a fast piston. We got these. Oh, oh, okay. I don't even need to super hop. I can just jump right on top of those. Uh, oh, these ones are taller. I do need to super hop on those ones. So even after we do the really hard segment, we still have other more challenging sections to do. at the end of that other path. That would be stupid. There's going to be, though, aren't there? There's going to be two frogs at the end of both branches. not fair. Okay, so the technique is to jump onto the next one while it's going out. That way you have the most amount of time you can get on it. Also, they're incredibly finicky, and they just want you dead. They don't care if it's fair. Let's do super hops. That seems safer. Nope. You're gonna spend two hours here? We're gonna still be on this level. And I'm gonna say, boy, Frogger was fun. What else can we play? There were many games that young Zelrog did not complete. This is an example of why. Maybe I just need stakes. Maybe that's all that was keeping me from doing that other path. I'll clear out this one. And then I'll have two frogs. And I'll have all the motivation I need to do the other path. Okay, I shouldn't have... Oh, no, wait, I can jump on those without... I'm so confused. So I don't need the super hop. But they're moving too fast... For me to stay on top of them, really. Guess I just have to brush it through the middle. That's all I can do. Hey! Hello, blue frog. Just hanging out. How do you get here? Oh, I bet you have stories. Well, we have our strategy. We know what we're doing. We just have to do it.
could be doing a Wind Waker randomizer. I'm still in the middle of Book of Mario 64. What other games was I thinking about doing solo? The Wind Waker randomizer, I figured Jack might want to be around for. I, I can ask him. I also don't don't want to do nothing but Zelda randomizers, is the thing, because I, I could do those for a very long time. they could want me to do, except move through them very quickly. That last pair. I'm getting through this first part consistently now, at least I say and then I die. Nope. Not going back there. does look like that's the end. Which would unfortunately mean that there are two frogs at the end of the other crusher path, I fear. What else is here? Anything? I haven't gone up the right side. I should see if there's anything there. Just to be thorough and jump in the water. Also, I think the golden frog on this level. What's up here? Anything? Nothing. <gasps> I'm good. We're fine. Why does he stop? I'm just, I'm mashing the up and sometimes it just doesn't register. I think it's the buffering, it's, it's the, the system performance that's killing me. Can't ha handle the PS1 games. Why is Chrome open? I don't have Chrome open. I can close Steam, close Discord, just to save maybe a wee bit of resources so I can run this game from 1995. <laughs> Okay, these ones are slow. Maybe I can make it on top, but I still have to be quick. I'd have to be speedy for that as well. There's no way to no way to deal with that last pair except speedily.
I also have to do it when those slow ones are coming out. I failed to time that well. I don't need to super hop. I just keep doing it because I feel safer for some reason. stop the top edge of the spikes. Isn't it great when games don't kill you for touching the non-sharp parts of spikes? Looking at you, Mega Man. Why well, I, I, I was... I was, I was rushing. like chess I'm not looking ahead I gotta look ahead at the at the slow moving ones because those are the ones that matter when I jump who's your favorite sin in FMA they are different between uh, the original and brotherhood have a favorite in Brotherhood. Yeah, I, guess, I guess Gluttony's okay, but... I, that time I just got unlucky. I couldn't see ahead to the final one when I got on board. That's the first time that's happened. know what I need to be doing, but I gotta think about so much other stuff just in the process of getting there that I forget by the time that I get there again. illegal to dump oil barrels and sewers. That seems like a bad idea. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. We did it. So there's two frogs down that path. There's the green guy at the bottom here.
and he appears to be the only thing down here. Which means there must be two on the other path. On the, the, the pain path. What am I doing? I shouldn't have the camera this way. There we go. What am I doing now? How'd I get up there? They really expect me to do this side twice. How dare they? Oh, I watched uh, The Black Cauldron for the first time yesterday with a couple of friends. Disney movie that people say is in contest with Hunchback for the most adult Disney film. And the only thing adult about about it was that there was uh, some skeletons on screen and uh, death was acknowledged as existing, but it's not like anyone actually got hurt or really even died on screen other than the bad guy. And bad guys always die on screen in Disney movies. It was also comically unfinished. There were characters who obviously were using uh, a poorer quality microphone than the main cast. They were a little over ambitious with the CG for the time the movie was made. Like there was stuff that was uh, traditional animation cut out with JPEG artifact artifacts over a CG, like, realistic smoke background. Things like that. I don't think it's a movie that I would watch again except to make fun of. Uh, yeah, Brotherhood is the longer series between the two. I think it's 64 episodes, right? The original, the first Full Metal Alchemist anime starts off following the manga, and then they ran out of manga, so they started kind of doing their own thing. Which, in my opinion, ended up better than how the manga goes, but that's not a popular opinion. Why? Okay. You can jump on top of some of them. Not that first one. That first one's too tall without a super hop. I hate these massive spike hitboxes. First anime is 51 episodes and relies on there's like a, a post anime movie that wraps up the ending. Did you watch the uh, Brotherhood had a movie, didn't it? I forget the name of it. The blood of something or other. Sar. I don't know. I assume it to be non-canon. But I don't know anything about it. For those of you, uh, not privy to the conversation between me and Darian, who just finished watching Brotherhood, I have tried on multiple occasions to finish Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and have thus far not done so. No likey, but I will one day finish it because I have to. Okay, I should have jumped, tried to jump around that frog. So I got to the end of the path once, but there's clearly more of it. 
Once is good, but not good enough. I didn't want to do that. Why'd I jump that way? that one time that I got through. Sacred Star of Milos. That was the, that was the move. like this level. That was a uh, big, big bag of dicks. I even waited for the second cycle and still fucked it up. I gotta get to the end of this path. I gotta go around the orange frog. To see what else is back there. And the other side, it's so easy to get to the first frog. Did they just put two at the very end of the of the harder side? up when I shouldn't have jumped up. the orange frog once. I'm making so slow progress, but progress. Surprised I landed on that. track. I even got, there's a timer bug in there. And then they all, they mix up the timing of the last few as well. They're not just faster, they're all fucked up. That's great!
The timer bug respawns, at least. That one's too tall to jump on. I worry if I did the uh, Wind Waker randomizer alone, it would end up being a lot of dead air. Because Wind, Wind Waker is a very big, empty game. Why did I stay up there? I don't know why I went up there in the first place. You've proven it to be an inconsistent strat. I'm finally getting a- I've been just driving afternoons. The school year has started up again, and I'm driving bus only in the PM for the time being. However, they told me that I am getting a morning route starting next week. And I'm not- I don't have the details yet. I covered someone else's uh, morning run yesterday, Friday. I drove for the state state school for the blind. And they made fun of me for how apparently incompetent I am for not being able to uh, get to school in time. Despite just, you know, following... We, we have map quests. That's all we have. Ah, I wanted that. I'll bet the, I'll bet the gold frog is back there too. Yeah, we don't have GPS. We're not even allowed to use our phone for GPS. We can't look at screens while driving the bus. So we got, uh, we got map quest. We got a piece of paper and road signs, and that's it. Not only was it map quest, it was a shitty map quest. It started the route by taking me in a big circle for no reason, which of course set the rest of the day up wonderfully. Middle schoolers are mean. They think everything's so easy because they haven't done anything, done any of it yet. They haven't played Frogger, Uncanny Crusher, like I have. I don't know the pain of living. This is the time. This is the run, though. This is the time. Like, we've got it. We know what we're doing. We've gotten all the frogs at least once. All five of them have been in our inventory at some point. Why does he... He bounces off the wood. He doesn't die when he hits it head on. He just kind of bounces back and it messes with your rhythm. Stop stuttering! Dump emulator. I'll bet that, uh, that Nexon nonsense is going to- the, the copyright strike is about to expire soon. I'll double check on that, see if I can get back to, uh, the normal method of streaming on YouTube and therefore having chat visible. Why did- I don't know what just happened, but I'm alive somehow. 
Why is he there? This is a very strange game, the way it handles. Like it, try it tries to put everything on a grid, but then it also has like ice physics and things that don't work on a grid basis. You know what Frogger would be good for? A rhythm game. It could be like a Crypt of the Necro Dancer. I could jump in time to these funky beats. That's something they could do with the franchise! Okay, that's fine. Well, I got a frog. I would have had to do that anyway. I would have liked to explore the later frog more. This means we have to do it again. aware that in the original Doki Doki Panic, there was A, not a run button, and B, you had to complete the game beginning to end with all four characters in order to get the ending. Boy, that sounds really not worth it. different Frogger 2 is going to be, but what improvements they made. Again, I had a demo for it on PC, so that's all I got of Frogger 2. I played one level. I think it was like a haunted mansion or something. part especially, I can't get him to be on the tile that I want him to be at. I wonder if the slope suddenly changes or something. So I have to move and slide into a wall in order for my momentum to stop can't be against a wall and then press against it, if that makes any sense. I have to go this long way instead of the short way. <laughs> okay, I made it! Now I gotta not get spiked by this guy. I got him. I got Mr. Golden Fuckwad. You may know him as the villain of Shrek, Lord Fuckwad. Golden Frog acquired. That's good. That's great. We have the easier frog on this path. And then we have the three easier frogs, period. And I've got two lives. So that's great. I just gotta not die. That's easy, right? Not die on this level? No! Why was I going so fast? Don't know when I started turning into Mickey Mouse when I panic. That, that's a new development. <gasps> Where am I going? Fine. We are good. We are good! Ice physics also causes weird level ending. Like, I, I, I get the frog and then I end on a space besides the frog space. It's weird. Okay, I want to say the next hardest is this blue guy at the end of this path. The green one is also annoying. Red, by far the easiest. As long as I'm mindful, and I think ahead, though, I think I'll be fine on this route. 
Yeah, I'm fine. I can just rush it. I just, I just have to hope the emulator doesn't stutter. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get Mr. Green Frog, and we're gonna finish the stupid fucking worst level in Frogger. Reportedly. We did it. Two lives. How bad can that be? It's just explosives. Alright, let's let's explore the bottom of this this pit of sewage. Is this just a harder version of the first level again? Are we are we doing that? It's just it's hard version levels again. Boy howdy if they have the gall to do a hard version of the level we just played. They can't do that. They wouldn't. Oh, and there's bonefish now. How, far, how long was that? That was about an hour of stream time. A little bit over. We spent uh, 70 minutes on that, that level. And I've, in the meantime, I've forgotten how to do the explosive barrels. just a really unnecessary level start. Why does it... Did, did they get less accurate? What happened since the last time I did this level? I used to have a perfect accuracy with those explosives. Speaking of osives. Well, no, I was going to mention that I don't have a pop filter on this microphone, but I didn't use one on the snowball, so that shouldn't... Uh, that shouldn't matter. going. I do remember this level being pretty easy. I'm gonna jinx myself saying that. Yeah, I, I, this, I mentioned that the first time we played this level. There's, there's no reason for this slip slide. It just eats up time before you can start the actual level part. idea to save after that level. Seems wise. No one probably cares, but this microphone also has a lot of uh, modes. Yes, Anvar, I beat hell. I wasn't expecting it because uh, the snowball has uh, multiple modes. It's a compression microphone and also a room microphone, depending on how you set it. And I thought the uh, Blue Yeti was just a... Uh, I thought it was just a condenser microphone. It only got what was immediately in front of it. But nope, it's got all the same settings the Snowball has. This way? Alright. So we know where two of them are. I 
I appreciate that there are fewer farts in this music track. I call this genre Shrek Wave. I'm starting a band, donkey! Ah, oh God, it's all toilet sounds! loop very well either. I want to ride these, but I'm, I don't know where they go. The, are they just gonna kill me? Yeah, they're just gonna kill me. Well, now I know. Uh-oh. Where are we going? Is there anywhere I can go? I gotta find another route, because I don't know where I can go now. Sewer flies. Gotta get that fella. And die for it. Thereby negating the point of getting the one up. explosives are more finicky than the last ones. Grenade jumping isn't an easy frogger technique. I'm over here now. I haven't gone to this side where there's slugs. Looks like that's where my other frogs are. It's such a long sequence just to get to the level. Man, remember the first, uh, the first forest level? It was just a tiny little map where you had to go fast because bees? Took like 30 seconds to do the whole level, all five frogs. Okay. Here we go. Wait, that's it? There's nothing up here. It's just a fly. Where's my frogs at? Frogs? It's just a whole lot of nothing, this level.
So, uh... Sewer World. And then I guess we'll have a fourth Frogger stream to do Desert World. Is how it's looking. We're an hour 20 in, we might have 20 more minutes on this uh, last couple sewer levels. And then there's a final boss, I have to assume. Because the last world is a single level, the banana. And also the next game is called Swampy's Revenge, so... Given the context of revenge, I must assume that Swampy the Crocodile is in this game. Maybe it's a misnomer. Maybe it's like how Crash 2 is called Cortex Strikes Back. Even though Cortex is, is the good guy in that game. He's your friend. It's weird that they called it that. I don't know why they did. Oops. This is a joke. That's three frogs accounted for. Can you jump from barrel to barrel on that slide segment? Ah, uh, maybe. I don't feel the need to risk it. <sighs> but there's already enough that's gonna kill me in this level without taking those kinds of risks. Plus then I would have to cross all the way across the uh, river on that bottom end. This isn't a level I want to near be near the bottom end of anything in. Hello. There's my blue frog, buddy! Should've just gotten him. I thought I could go down. I thought there was more level that I needed to explore. So four frogs accounted for. Someone samples fart sounds in a rap song. Are they a brapper? I'm sorry. Explosives. They're awful. It's the fact that they're moving so fast, too. They're way faster than they were on the previous version of this level. Okay, so I still don't know where the final frog is.
There he is. Okay, all five are accounted for. I just need to not die in getting them. Easy task. That orange fella seems like he might be the hardest. A lot of slugs to go through. Okay. Slide's annoying, but it's not that bad. I'm currently doing the uh, highlights for the Insane Trilogy Crash Warp playthrough. And man, there's some really dumb game design that they left in for some reason. I just, I, I made a boo-boo. I did not get to the that section fast enough to do the barrels. Maybe I should do those first, because those take up the most time. I was uh, understandably very upset during the Crash Warped playthrough that they did not have restart commands. For a lot of the races and vehicular minigame sections, I always include a restart every time I die for that one up. And uh, the fact that the on the on the motorcycle levels, the racers do not clear the track once you get the start of the time trial. Which means the optimal thing to do is to wait for them to clear the track, and there's no fast way to do that. So you just sit at the start for like two minutes before every attempt, and it's super, super dumb. One life, no frogs, do over. Calling it now, I'm gonna get all these levels. I'm gonna do the banana, whether it's a boss or not. And then because I got all the golden frogs, I'm gonna unlock the super secret final bonus level, which is the hardest yet, and that's gonna be, that's gonna add like, two hours to the final stream that I wasn't planning for. Every time! This, does, this game doesn't have a one-up. No, this was before pause menus. There's no menu, only the pause. Which itself, what a nice feature that was to include for console games. I don't know what the first game that did it was. Probably wasn't Mario Brothers. But boy, it's a good thing to include. The ability to just stop. Because, you know, life comes up while playing video games. What if they didn't think of that? There's somewhere there's a continuity. Where the pause wasn't invented until, like, the PS1 era. And NES and Super NES games just didn't have pausing. Should have gone for that. Uh, I have to go for the, the red one. I don't have time for this one. 
Levels proving surprisingly difficult. I mean, I realize it's an endgame level, but I don't remember us struggling at all with the first version of this level. We kind of just breezed through it. Unnecessary risk on my part. So let me start the level over. You don't gotta send me back out here. Konami, please. This is a Konami game, as we found out, isn't it? In a bizarre twist of fate. history this was uh, released like what games with this because this was an early ps1 game i'm pretty sure this came before metal gear solid for example what did they just finish making when they made this game which castlevania what what whatever else they were doing okay, i'm just starting over hello again polski it took me about an hour and ten minutes to get through that stupid level, but I did eventually. And I even got the golden frog. I think this will be the uh, Sewer World stream, and then X stream. I'll finish it by doing the uh, desert. Are there other levels I unlock? Like, am I, am, is there going to be a secret world that I have access to because I got all the golden frogs or something? I just want to know if I need to plan for that. If I'm losing two lives before I even get a first frog. I could speed this up with save states, but... I want to be a purist as long as I can. I don't think this is that bad yet. It's bad, but at least we can get through the menus pretty quickly. work up to a uh, extra life at least. Because I sure can't keep this one. Thank you. 
Okay. We made it across. Let's see if we can get this, uh, this barrel fella. We've made enough progress that I know where all the frogs on this level are. There we go. Okay, the most time-consuming one is taken care of. No secret levels. Okay, that's good. Do you think Shrek would find this music offensive? Does this count as, like, uh, ogre cultural appropriation? And these newspapers, please! Doesn't the frog beat the slug? The slug beats the snake? Or do I have that twisted around? cycle every time. <laughs> it's not a consistent cycle, though, is the thing. As we learned in the previous level. Like, there is variance. It would be a better game if there weren't, but unfortunately, there is. Why did that was a misinput? Alright, do over. Mulligan. faith of that YouTube person that the desert levels will not be worse. That that was, in fact, the hardest level. Two people now have called it the gates of hell, so I'm inclined to believe that. I actually made it without dying. And I even got the one up, look at that. I'm not gonna get the green one because I took some time for that one up. Let's get the orange fella instead. <sighs> Probably hate this level more than the harder levels, but just because of the, the tedious startup sequence. Having to sit through the, uh, the flume of shit every start. And you better time those fast explosive barrels. making it through that stupid explosive river is what's killing me. N none of the rest of the level, none of the paths to the actual five frogs, just the start. Maybe I just need to get good.
Get up. Get up. And no matter what route I take, I gotta deal with being stunned for a second there. Okay, the two hardest frogs are obtained. I just need to- that doesn't mean anything though, because I still have to get ac across the stupid explosives. This one, but the next one. Just gotta time it well. There we go. We're doing it. This is the this is the run. This is the time. Oh, did I miss my chance? I think I missed my chance. I'm gonna have to go for this guy. It's all right. Three frogs out of five. Maybe I was wrong. It is more or less the same cycle every time. Why did it slow down for a second there? And there goes my whole progress. Boy, how bad is the next level? Actually, I can't skip ahead. I need to do this one before I can. You can skip ahead to future worlds, but not future levels within a world. The weird system. Kind of works. Gives the player some choice while maintaining the importance of uh, progressing in a line. See, I got down at a different time this cycle. Let's get this orange guy. Let's do that. Again, very slowly getting better at the level. It's just such a time sink to do every attempt. Especially with the startup sequence. Nope! Maybe I have enough time, even if I don't, uh, like, sequence skip. Oh, 
So the first cycle is different, and then every subsequent cycle is more or less the same, is how it seems to go. Why did you go that way, frog? I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. The one across the newspaper sequence is also kind of tricky. That's the last one I'm worried about. Audio only because bad Wi-Fi. Uh, does YouTube perform any better for you? Because I dual stream to that as well. Got it. Okay, just the two easiest frogs left. We need to get across the explosive river two more times, and that is it. There's the one in the slugs, and there's the one in the boxes. Twitch, unfortunately, doesn't always provide uh, quality settings. I believe YouTube always, always does. It lets you lower the quality. As needed. Which is kind of a uh, per stream basis with that. Why? I pressed down twice, but he no jumped down twice. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting. I can't say visibly frustrated because you can't see me. Aurally frustrated. I don't want to sound like that because that's not a good time for anybody. But fuck the sewer levels. square one. Almost to two hours already. Wow, that first level took 70 minutes, and this one is now on uh, 30 minutes. No, 40 minutes. I really want to get that one up and live. My first sequence, and I never do. It's happened once, maybe. I wonder why the first sequence is different. It must be must have to do with the way the level loads in. rush. This is not as much of a rush as it looks. Got time. Just barely. It's the same sequence every time, so no need to worry. The zone is one of your favorite zones. I don't remember what the... I don't remember what the last... the other sewer level was. I remember the earlier version of this, and the awful level that we just completed. I don't know what my favorite zone would be. <gasps> Lost the pattern again. It's not a difficult pattern, either. Like, it's plain to see what the slugs are doing.
sudden craving for Rice Krispies. It's okay, we just gotta do the other four frogs on one life. That's fine. Just gotta follow this guy, and we're here. Easy peasy. I don't like the slug ones, and I don't really like the newspaper crossing one. The first cycle is definitely the most dangerous, because this one... Like, the second on, it's all the same cycle. You just gotta do the timing right every time. Which I've more or less gotten down. Invade the slugs this time. Okay, slug frog's done. Gotta do the newspaper slug and the boxes. The newspaper frog and the boxes frog. Slime sliding. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one sucked too. I don't like Sewer World. It lives up to its name. I guess that's multiplayer mode. I don't know if I've ever selected that menu option in my entire life. this way a little bit. Ride this way a lot of bit. I kind of screwed myself, it would seem. And then I, my, my, I, my mind was elsewhere. out the description issue, did I? I was given a Twitch description field today. I don't know why it wasn't previously. Yeah, Tox has mentioned that she's been getting the same going live notice on, Twi on Twitch for a while. Up there. Why did I do that? What am I doing? I, I panicked. Mulligan. So, talks. I spent about an hour and ten minutes on the first level which is purportedly the hardest in the game. And this level has run us now 50 minutes. So we're encountering some difficulties in the sewer. It's not a very hospitable place, as it turns out. Dead. You know what? Worst case scenario, even if I die for getting that, it counteracts the death from the first cycle, and then I can just have the predictable second cycle and on for all the other attempts, so that's fine. It's been working in my favor all along. For some reason, 
Only the second cycle and onward is consistent. The first one's weird. Everything's in a different place with different timing. Out of what sewer magics allows these barrels to float in such a pattern? Only game that has withstood the test of time. I don't know if you're being ironic or not. I would agree in some ways. The idea is great. Some things about the execution could be better. They could make a game like this in the modern day, and it'd, it'd be pretty neat. If it had, like, modern day game conveniences. Yeah, this is a weird level. This is the only level that has this uh, explosive barrel mechanic. Got some bonus points, maybe a one up. Not quite. Three frogs down, got extra life if I need it. Those bobbing barrels have a very forgiving window. I saw that. They only really kill you at the very bottom of the dip. Okay, we're gonna go across, we're gonna get the purple frog. Easiest one to get. We have two lives to do it. One from the explosion to the newspaper. Yeah. Again, the only reason I'm doing this consistently is because it's the same every time from the second attempt onward. And only from the second attempt onward. Frog. We're home free. Chewy. We're home. Finally, we can celebrate Life Day. Re did, is that a Reservoir Dogs pun? Celebratory drink. Oh, 60 seconds. That's a long timer. Uh oh. Hmm. Is this just classic Frogger? I just gotta go across the gaps? There's an explosive barrel. I don't like this timing. This is classic Frogger on crack. Save. 
Save often, kids. So next stream, we have five desert levels and banana land, whatever that is. Again, assuming it's some manner of boss. But we'll see. But you get stuck on these slow moving ones and then there's nothing you can do. Usually in Frogger levels, you have objects moving in both directions, so you can kind of realign yourself. You can't do that here. There's just one direction, and God, you'd better find the right pattern and get across. I don't believe I have. I appear to be fucked. I actually made it somehow. I gotta do that every time? And there's more. Excuse me. What? What is this nonsense? Where does this go? Okay, well I'm here now. I can't rotate the camera up here. I'm forbidden from doing so. I gotta rely on these long ones that can let me kind of gain a little ground backwards. This level is very confusing. Someone in chat claims it's the best sewer level. Gotta be honest, that's a low bar. Did I want to get on that? I might not have wanted to get on that. Nice knowing you, world. I'll bet this is going to be another case where the pattern is the same every time, only the second time onward. Yeah, it is, it's going to be one of those cases. So... That's one route, is to take three explosive barrels across. Maybe I can get elsewhere if I only get two explosive barrels? I mean, I, I also grew up with this game, but I never got this far. I think I got as far as the sky world. Okay, let's try to land on a non-explosive second barrel. Let's see if we can do that. I don't like it. This doesn't look easy to do. These don't line up well at all for what I'm trying to do. What child had the patience for a level that took an adult an hour and a half? Boy, if there's one thing that kids playing video games have, it's time. Kids got nothing to do but play Frogger for eight hours a day. Did I make a boo-boo? Did I already fuck up? I think I already, yeah, I already, okay. GG. Maybe I want the explosive barrel that first cycle.
Is it even possible to get one of the... They seem timed in such a way so that you cannot get... A non-explo... You can't jump from an explosive to a non-explosive. just trying to figure out where else I can go in this level. Why did you decide to play this? Because I also grew up with the game. Again, I never got this far, but I did enjoy it. I enjoy it now, when it's not the sewer levels. Oh, hello. There's more. And there's oil. And there's crushers. Love me those crushers, yes sir. Here we go, it's everyone's favorite mechanic. The wood crushers. Or beloved than Wesley Crusher. So there's those two frogs over there. Let, let's get a frog tally. There's a raccoon. Sly Cooper has uh, weaseled his way into this game. And I ride the... I can ride the raccoon. Well, this section has multiple directions, so much easier to cross. I say, and then immediately die. So let's see, there's two frogs across the explosives. There must be at least one across the raccoons. Just the, I, I gotta, I gotta re, re, recon. I gotta do a frog tally before we go, go with this in earnest. Across the river of Sly. What's over here? Slugs are over here. I see. Well, there must be something across there, so that's probably two frogs. Which means there is one frog across the the crushers. to self, don't be on that barrel. Let's check out the crushers. Let's see how bad the damage is. Uh-oh! I don't like that! Man, you can't even stop and look. Because it, it's, it's oil. Well, I've gotten the frogs across. The explosive barrel frogs seem like the least offensive. The slug path looks nasty, and the crusher path looks nasty. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Well, we've seen it, though, so let's see how bad the... Is this the barrel I don't... This is the barrel I don't want to be on. Okay, well, I made it this time. Let's see how bad the slug path is. It doesn't look great. I'm gonna be real. <gasps> I jumped one too many times.
very cooperative raccoons. I always think the animals are gonna behave like the turtles in OG Frogger. They're gonna like dunk me under the water and they don't. Wow, that's a fast slug. That's the fastest slug I've ever seen in anything ever. Slugs aren't fast. I think my favorite music was probably the weird, like, ambient soundtracky one that we got for the the soaring sky balloon level. That was a neat music track. Okay, it's not too hard to get here. It's just a matter of getting past the slugs. Okay, so... What's happening is that I expect to slide to a corner and then have to jump onto the corner because it's raised a little bit. But it doesn't do that. It, kind of, it just kind of drops you off on the corner. So I gotta not press anything. Long time to go. I bet I can save a little bit of time by doing a super hop. I can stall for a, mo a moment. Save precious frames. unnecessary, elaborate names. Every speedrun game has that, right? This one, this one can't be any different. This is such a long path. <gasps> I didn't want to super hop there. Uh, what's this? What the hell? Excuse me. I got- I, I have to... Weird route, but okay. Oh no, that's the re- That was the easy slug frog. I didn't want to jump down there. I just saw a frog to collect and I went for it. I thought, oh, this must be the end. It's okay, we'll do it again. We did it once, we can do it again. Probably more times after that, because I doubt I'll succeed immediately. Yeah, okay, I have to- I have to super hop to, like, gain momentum? What is this? Where are we going? Where are the slugs at? Uh... This is a dead end. Wait, what are we doing? I'm so confused. Huh? Am I just dead now? Is there nowhere to go from here? Where's the frog? Ah! 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 Got him. And then I just died. 
it even played the the, the the out of time sound. That's how close I cut it. Well, now I still got to deal with the stupid crushers are the next hardest. <sighs> Maybe I should do the crushers first. They seem the most affected by potential... It's not randomness, but... Boy, I don't know when to go. Alright, so, crushers first. We're gonna do it. We're gonna finish the sewers tonight. However long it takes us. With the introductory fart to get us in the mood for some sewer platforming. I forget who the YouTuber that Jack always references it is. Every every game needs a sewer level. No exceptions. Got it. This is the this is the run. This is the time. Got across the river of Sly. Well, I don't know, Sly. Does this really seem like a place that did have something to rob in it? like slugs. I don't like spikes. I'm indifferent towards raccoons. And I have very little patience for little baby frogs. score in a game like this. Just make them levels. Get rid of the lives. We don't need lives. I'm still gonna do the crusher first, because that seems the most inconsistent. Like the others, I think I'll get good enough to do consistently. This, I'm not quite as sure about. There's kind of... Okay, super hot broken. This red one's a freebie. super hop more. That's what I gotta do. I'm not super hopping enough. say and then don't super hop.
You know what? I'm gonna get the slug frog first. That that orange that little orange bastard. That Naruto is gonna be my first target. Yeah, that previous level took us a while, and this level is also not terribly forgiving, Darian. And now, I, now I'm dying on basic jumps. Give me the raccoon! Well, you sure took your time. I might have to get the, the red one just because I now don't have time to go the full slug route. It's just, it's so free. It's just on the way to the actual challenge frog. Soundtrack. I did it again. I thought I would stop before the thing. It's just my instinct because it's raised. It looks like a place that you would slide to a stop at. The explosive barrels in this mix just look so not worth the risk. Eventually. And the desert world levels better not take as long as these sewer levels, or we're in for a long final stream. Can I qu quick restart, please? Do over. Undo. No, I have to kill myself to do that. I'm not taking a, a, a death like that on my first life. Cycle. I'll take that one. If I get to the slugs and die to the slugs, I'm cool with that. But nothing less. Get up there. Get up there, you... Ah. Dumb frog. Okay, where are we going? It is across that gap, I see. Or is it down there? No, we've been down here. It's not down here. Oh, it's up here. Okay, we're on the right track. We got it. We got it! <clears throat> that feels unintentional. Whatever that slope mechanic is that's happening.
Okay. The hardest frogs are done. That fella. I just gotta do the, this triple bounce. There we go. It, somehow this was the first frog I got, this, this green dude. Up on ledge impossible. Do it. This is the time. This is the go. This is the time. There's no way we fail now. We got the Sly Gang helping us. There we go. Easy as pie. That level's nothing. Baby stuff. Well, as we do, when we finish our goal and still have lives to go, I guess it's time to see what the, the desert world's like. We'll get a preview. I'll play until I die, and then uh, that will be the stream. Let's check out Cactus Point. Oh, there's cacti, there's snakes. You like snakes? There's buffalo? Comparatively small buffalo, given that I'm a frog. We're gonna avenge Mufasa. Okay, so just get across is the first obstacle. And I'm not doing great at it. Okay. There's beetles. Lots of extra lives. That's nice. Oh! Oh. I thought that would just be a wall. Like, no, you can't jump here. Nope. It, uh, it explodes you in a manner very similar to the, uh, lawnmowers we previously encountered. Don't touch a cactus. God help you. There's just a whole lot of crossing is this level, isn't it? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't... I can't touch the bones. It's death cacti everywhere and a snake! isn't fun, but it's doable. The sewer world, this is not. There's a purple frog. What's back here? There's a ramp with salamanders. Very slow, non-threatening salamanders that I'm sure will kill me anyway. Yep. They're really generous with the lives in this level, though. Look how many I've got. Oh, this last one's fast. That's how he got me. And that one just walks back and forth. This is the recon. We're learning so that we'll be ready when we go to this level for real.
Purple fella. Must be something up here, too. A pretty difficult but straightforward level. I saw a bird, which will probably carry me somewhere. last life, which might signal the end of our excursion. Go up the right side, that's probably faster. And it's a scarab that gets me. Okay, well that's fine. Ace Recon. We saw what the desert world will offer us. I don't think it'll be bad. Well, then this first sewer level wasn't bad either. Maybe that's preemptive. Maybe I'm jinxing it. This music back to the music. This needs, uh. Just needs Phil Collins singing over it. Alright, well, that's the end of Frogger for today. I think we have one more stream left. No secret worlds, apparently, so. We have five desert levels and whatever the final level is left. Probably two and a half, three hours of game left. Uh, I'll probably do something tomorrow. I'm off. I don't know what Jack's schedule is like. I don't know when he'll be able to stream again, but uh, I should be able to pick it up again some more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.